Hi everybody, Mr. Gerhard here, and we're going to go through uh, showing you how to put a quadratic equation to data, uh, do quadratic regression feature on your calculator. So we use this um, data on Friday, and what we're going to do is we're going to put this into our calculator, create a scatter plot, and then come up with an equation line for it. So first thing we want to do is open a new document. So from your home screen, you can go here to new document. Um, we don't care about saving an unsaved document, so we'll click no. And then we're going to uh, add a list and spreadsheet page. Each column we want to put down what the variable is. So our first variable is day. So we're going to put that in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And in the second column, we're going to type in the population. So I'm going to call that column population. And I'm going to type those numbers in, which is 60, 135, 240, 370, 500, and 740. Now, what we have here is our data in, in this list and spreadsheets. And what I want to do is create a scatter plot. On the 80, or on the Inspire, an easy way to do that is to insert a new page. Uh, you can do that by doing Control I or Control Doc, and the new page is going to be a data and statistics page. So I click on that. You might have some dots here. Some of you may have more than others, depending on when you're putting your data in. And on the bottom here, where it says click to add a variable, we're going to click and add a variable, and we're going to put our days down on the x-axis. And then I'm going to come over here to the y-axis, and you see that box pop up. We're going to click in there. We're going to add our next variable, which is population. And you can see that this data is kind of curved. Um, we know that we're going to put a quadratic equation to this, um, but we could look at it in any other way. <clears throat> and in order to put a quadratic equation to it, we're going to click on Menu, go to Analyze, and then scroll down here to Regression. And we want to put a quadratic equation to this uh, data. So we're going to say show quadratic. And you can see right here is our quadratic equation. Now it's kind of difficult to see all of that because it's kind of uh, long decimals. We don't have to write all the decimals, but we can write, you know, 0.66x squared plus 3.30x plus 32.5. And that'll work out really well. And we'll have our equation. One other way that we could get this. <clears throat> is insert another new page which would be a calculator page and you can go over here to menu go to statistics stat calculations and you see right here it says quadratic regression click on that our x list was our day and the y list was population and you come down and click ok and when you do that it gives you the regression equation ax squared plus bx plus C, and it tells you what A, B, and C are, and you can fill those in, and again, don't write all the decimals, just write the first two, um, will be good enough for us, and we don't have to worry about what this other stuff is here, we'll talk more about that um, at another time, so hope that helped, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed.